Oxford, Cambridge, Hull. These are the great universities of England. If you only had one day to visit Oxford, where should you go? What should you see? Look no further, for all shall be revealed in this video. Oxford University is made up of more than 30 different colleges located throughout the city, each with its own separate campus, unique architectural style, and distinct history. So which ones should you visit? Here are the best Oxford colleges to visit, in my humble opinion. Number 1. New College was indeed new at its time of construction in 1379, but now it is one of the oldest colleges of Oxford. The motto of New College is Manners Maketh Man, whatever that means. The medieval cloister was used in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, if that is of interest to you. Walking around it feels like walking back in time. A portion of the medieval city wall can be seen from one of the college's many gardens. Former students include actors Hugh Grant, Kate Beckinsale, and historian stroke frequent BBC presenter Lucy Wosley. Number 2. Modelling College Founded in 1458, situated next to the River Charwell, is considered by some to be the most prestigious Oxford College. Maudlin is not pronounced the way it is spelt, a trick they use to confuse tourists and baffle foreigners. The college was founded by the Bishop of Winchester. The cloister was constructed in the 1470s. From the cloister, you can see the Great Tower, which is one of the most recognisable buildings of the Oxford skyline. Modlin College is famous for its deer park, which occupies most of the land owned by the college. The deer herd has been here for over 300 years and can be seen from Addison's Walk, which is a gravel path that runs along the River Charwell. C.S. Lewis was a fellow of Modlin College for 29 years and wrote a poem about this walk, which no doubt he took many times. Take a moment to enjoy the view and breathe in the fresh air. Alright, that's enough. We got more sightseeing to do. Number 3. Christchurch College. Book online for discount, don't you know? Is the most popular college for tourists and charges twice as much entrance fee than any other college. And for good reasons. It has more things to see and arguably the grandest architecture of any college.
The main quad is the biggest in Oxford and features Tom Tower, designed by Christopher Wren. The staircase that leads to the Great Hall has beautiful fan vault. Unfortunately, the Great Hall, which served as a model for the Great Hall at Hogwarts in the Potter movies, was closed to the public when I visited due to some quote unquote student function. Most colleges have chapels, but Christchurch College boasts a cathedral, which is also the official cathedral of the city of Oxford. The cathedral can trace its history back to the 12th century. The stained glass window featuring Thomas Beckett seconds before his untimely and gruesome demise, dates from 1320. In the 16th century, Henry VIII's first wife, Catherine of Aragon, prayed here for his son. I think you can guess how that turned out. The cathedral has magnificent stone vaulted ceiling constructed in the 1400s. Take a minute to marvel at its decorative details. Just don't strain your neck. Christchurch has an extensive roster of alumni, including 13 British Prime Ministers, writer Lewis Carroll, philosopher John Locke, and scientist Robert Hooke. All right, those are my top three Oxford colleges to visit. Here are some other sites that you simply cannot miss. Bodleian Library. Opened in 1602, Bodleian Library is the main research library of Oxford University. The library grounds are free to wander. Sheldonian Theatre was built in 1669 and designed by a young Christopher Wren, based on the theatre of Marcellus in Rome from the 1st century BC. Contrary to popular belief, the heads with wild expressions are not busts of Roman emperors. The theatre is used for concerts and official ceremonies. Radcliffe Camera Contrary to popular belief, Radcliffe Camera is not an electronic device, but a science library in the round, built in the 1740s. It is unfortunately not open to the general public. All places mentioned in this video are within walking distance of each other and can be visited in one, albeit very full, day. So bring your walking shoes. 
Let me know if you have any questions about visiting Oxford in the comments section below. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe, as I will be uploading more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.